Louise Victoria and I've lived in Bristol maybe just up to a couple of years now and then met Mark Whitlam about pretty much when I moved. Yeah, I mean, we met on a gig randomly, didn't we, through mutual friends and realised we were kind of into the same sort of stuff stylistically and, and wanted to start our own project and write. So we kind of hooked up and did that and went from there. giving you so many names for like three or four months or something, yeah. just like... Great ones like Shed. <laughs> we wanted a, a word that just had a really nice meaning, because you have like a lot of love for Scandi type culture and music mm -hmm. and things like that. And um, so I said Leif, which is a Norwegian uh, male name, and it means beloved. And uh, yeah, we really liked it. I've worked with Dale Hambridge, who plays keys for longer than I care to remember, uh, in many different projects. And sort of stylistically, I think he fits really well. I, you know, and he's a great improviser and a good mate, so that was a natural fit. And then you kind of found Chris. I really uh, liked Chris's style. I'd seen him play at the canteen. Um, and a couple of other places, and then you ended up having a gig with him. Mm, yeah. Um, and then that kind of sealed the deal, didn't it? Yeah, and then like first rehearsal kind of just seemed to gel really well. Yeah. So that was it. You know, it didn't really need to be a bigger outfit. It's quite a song based writing we're doing, and just tight rhythm section. So, who are our influences? Mine was definitely Gretchen Parlato and Becca Stevens. That's the one. So it's very much that kind of like New York-based jazz R&B sort of crossover thing. So I think we've drawn sort of from all of that, and that shapes our writing and the band sound collectively. So we have uh, an EP coming out, we're just getting it sort of finished. We do have an official EP launch, um, which will be it's May the 26th at The Forge. I feel that with the artists that I've listened to and are very much influenced by, they have this, this songwriting style, but it's also in this jazz realm. And I think that that's definitely what drew us to that and that's yeah. what we wanted to get out of it. We all have played jazz and it's nice to have that freedom I guess. I guess that's the thing, it's like there's the song and it's all about that but then there are moments where you know someone will do something and we'll just be like, okay right great and, and that's fun particularly live because it makes gigs different every time, less formulaic and you're playing that moment in time and that audience and that's kind of exciting, you know. I think everyone seems really passionate about it and I think yeah. the quartet work really well as friends and as musicians and I think it's got a lot of potential. Yeah.